Hello everyone, the Louis Vuitton men's spring summer 2024 runway show happened yesterday in Paris at the Pont Neuf Bridge. So let's talk about it. I think it was February 2023 that Louis Vuitton announced their new creative director for men's is Pharrell Williams, which is for me kind of a little bit a surprise, but not really. I could see how Pharrell would fit into that role very easily, but there was so much rumor going around about Martine Rose and maybe Telfar and no rumors at all about Pharrell Williams. Apparently, uh, the decision was plucked via text by Alexandre uh, Arnaud, which is one of the sons of Bernard Arnaud. So the show happens yesterday for Men's Fashion Week in Paris. Every once in a few years, there is a show that is memorable. And I would say that this show was one of them. Another show that reminds me of this is the Paris Cuba um, show for Chanel. For me, that show was just unforgettable. One of the best shows of Chanel. So I felt the same way with this show uh, for Louis Vuitton. I mean, the guest list alone is just insane. There was even a rumor that the Obamas would show up. There were Beyonce, Jay-Z, Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, Zendaya, of course, and even Kim Kardashian was there. It was definitely a listers everyone who is anyone who's there which the venue is just remarkable this is not an in-depth review of the show i say that there are so many things that are really wearable it doesn't matter it's a man's fashion week but it is wearable for any gender in my opinion pharrell even mentioned this in one of the interviews that he designs for humans so anyone can wear this look and i actually prefer men's clothing sometimes because they're just more interesting than the women's and definitely the men's louis vuitton is much more interesting than the women's because the women's is so boring it's been boring for years I think he needs to go. His designs is just blah, very niche and not really sellable. On the other hand, the men's design is ever since Virgil Abloh has been selling like hotcakes. Everyone wants it. Yes, it's it's heavily inspired by streetwear, but that's what everyone wants to wear these days. So the main highlight of the show yesterday was pixelated version of the Louis Vuitton Demia check. They came up with the name Demoflage instead of Camouflage because it's like Demia, the Demia check and the Camouflage. So it was heavily, heavily featured on the show yesterday. This is not groundbreaking. This is not new. A lot of haters would say like, oh my God, you know, nothing is new. Of course not. It doesn't have to be new all the time. J.W. Anderson did it first for Lueve and he did it amazingly. I don't know, for some reason, Pharrell gets a lot of haters. People criticize him a lot about how he's not a designer, how he's a stylist. Well, he's the creative director. He doesn't have to be Mr. Know-it-all and can do it all. He has a whole design team behind him, you know, that could present him with ideas and new things and he all he has to do is pick and choose and direct them and guide them it's a team effort it's not by one person and people can say a lot of things about him haters are just gonna hate but the fact is he sells the collection that he did with chanel people love to say that they hate them but that collection sold out so what are you gonna say this is louis vuitton this is lvmh the biggest corporation he bernard arnaud is the richest man in the world. He doesn't care about being innovative, groundbreaking, very design focused. He doesn't care about that. He cares about selling things. And I think this collection is very commercial, very safe, very sellable. It is going to be easy for them to sell this collection. I see beautiful pieces. I see things that can work for any gender. Yes, maybe the pixelated like Damia check kind of look like Minecraft, but there are so many other things in the collection. Yes, the Demio check is heavily, heavily uh, featured. It's on denim, it's on canvas, it's on leather, it's on a lot of things. The coats and the jackets, they're just beautiful. I would love to have them in my collection. Yes, quite luxury is the trend now, but looking at the collection, it's just fun. It's beautiful, it's fun, it's beautifully styled. I love it. There's a couple of things that are featured and kind of like a not 
to Virgil Abloh, like the boat bag from Canvas. I think Abloh made um, a, an airplane bag. So there was a boat bag in this uh, fashion show. And also the uh, porcelain coffee cup that was so cute. It was heavy on accessories, it was heavy on bags, there were so many speedies. And the difference is that now with the monogram speedy, it's not canvas, it's leather. That's why it's much less structured and really sags. I always love the way they uh, style bags on the runway because they're carrying it like this. Like it would happen in real life. It would never happen in real life because that bag will be so heavy. It always looks so chic on the runway though. Love all the speedies with all the primary colors, the green, the yellow, the red, there was even orange, but I hear that orange is just for VIP only, so there's a like layers to this as well. And because it's leather, it's probably going to be much more in terms of pricing compared to the canvas, of course. There was trunks, huge trunks, trunks that look like the mirror collection trunks that are pixelated they're alma bags like oversized alma bags and they look like weekenders with lv logos around them i see pearls on the straps pearls on the handle uh pharrell likes pearl and he often wears pearls i love a nod to that and it also reminds me of chanel because he did a collaboration with chanel as well before yes the pixelated graphic is not new or groundbreaking and the shopping bag bag, you know, it looks like the shopping bag, but it's from leather. It also comes in the lunch, lunch box bag. It's not a new idea. I mean, Jill Sander has done it years, years ago, but it's still fun. LV has never done that before. I love the square bag also with the Damier print in primary colors from uh, like the crossbody. I think it's really, really cute. Like I would like to have that in my collection. A lot of things I think I find it really cute they even have like the very nano speedy like kind of like um bag charm situation going on there were so many bags i love that he also include this black american artist henry taylor and it was like this suit with pictures like embroidery of henry's friends on the suit i think that's super cute so instead of like lv logos all over it's like faces of his friends it's so adorable jay-z performed uh, after the show for around 30 minutes and pharrell joined him for a song or two some people complain oh is this a fashion show or a concert it's an after party it is very okay to have music djs performances after the show people just love to hate music and fashion has been interchangeable in the past decades you know everything influences each other fashion can be trickled down or it can be trickled up in this sense louis vuitton is definitely trickling up because it is inspired by the streetwear the streetwear becomes luxury now it is straightforward and commercial I have no doubt that this collection would definitely sell and it is very handbag heavy so a lot of people will be happy with this and of course Louis Vuitton will be happy the sale is gonna be crazy things are gonna sell out and I think the women's department need to catch up with the men's because lately it's been such a snooze fest in the women's section they really need to do something with that okay so that's my thoughts and my first impression about the recent Louis Vuitton men's uh, runway show. Let me know in the comment section down below your opinion. I would love to know. Let's start a conversation. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload videos weekly about style and travel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!